Hey everyone, Jake from Optimus Futures here bringing you another Optimus Flow tutorial. And in this video, we'll be covering one of the newest order entry features available on Optimus Flow, and it's called multiple order entry. Now you can find multiple order entry up in the top left hand corner of the platform window by clicking on the Optimus Flow logo or your main menu and scrolling down to the trading section. You'll see there's a new panel here called the MOE. It stands for multiple order entry. So if we click on that, we'll be brought to the multiple order entry basket. As you can see, I was working with this a little bit before, so let's clean this out and start with a clean slate. So this feature is used for traders who want to place, as it sounds, multiple orders at the same time from one convenient location. So if you're someone who wants to set yourself up an advanced bracket order, you could do so through here, you know, a multi-level bracket order. Of course, on Optimus Flow, we do have stop loss and take profit orders on your chart and your dome and your order entry that you could set up and attach to your entry orders. But some users need multi-level bracket orders. And you could essentially do that here, right? You could go ahead, send yourself a market order, and then surround itself by, you know, multiple various sell stops or buy stops, depending on the side of the market you go in with various quantities. That way you can get in or out of your position at various price levels. That's one unique way you could use this. Another way is, let's say for example, you do trade multiple products at the same time. So maybe the Dow, the ES and gold, or you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using hypothetical examples, but let's say you do trade multiple markets and you rely on news or some sort of signal that, you know, you know, prompts you to place a trade, you could do that here as well, rather than having to go into three separate order entry windows or having to switch the symbol three different times. You just set that up all right here, click submit, and they all go in together. So again, the possibilities with this feature are, are essentially endless and up to the trader themselves. Um, it provides a really unique solution for traders who are looking for something like multiple bracket orders or multi-layer bracket orders, someone who does trade multiple products, or maybe just someone that doesn't want to continue to click market or limit over and over. You can just do it one convenient location and it's pretty, uh, pretty helpful. So let's get in here and show you how you do it. So first up on the left side, this is our configuration panel. You'll notice first you of course select the symbol. So let's in this example, use the E-mini S&P 500 of June, 2021. Next up, you're going to want to select your account. If you do have multiple connections or accounts in Optimus Flow, make sure you select that there. Next up is your side, of course, so buy or sell side. And then below that is your quantity. Now, here is where things start getting interesting, of course, your order type. So as you can see, we have the standard order types that you'd expect and find throughout Optimus Flow. Um, and, and again, this is where things get unique because if you are one of those traders who's creating yourself a multi-layer bracket order or something of those likes, this is probably what you're going to want to focus on. And then of course you have your time and force settings, day, fill or kill, good to cancel or immediate or cancel. If you like setting comments on your orders, you could do that here as well. And then finally, like you expect, we have your simple bracket orders, stop loss, take profit legs attached to your trades. Um, this again is set by ticks. One nice thing about this area is if you set a tick offset, you'll actually see down in the bottom right of that specific uh, section there, what price this would potentially be placed at or filled at if you set this tick offset. So you can see the market price right now on my chart is about 41.74. And then, you know, I put it five ticks away from there. Um, at right now it's reading 41.73. So just a nice little gauge if you're not sure, you know, the tick value of the product you're trading or what price it'll be at if you do place a stop loss or take profit order, um, this is a nice place to gauge it. But for this first example, I'm going to show maybe a trader who wants to place multiple orders on the same product um, at various price points. So first I go in with the market order, I have myself set up, and then I go ahead and place market. Let's say I go long and expect the market to go down. Before I continue, I just wanna mention that all trades in this video are hypothetical, purely for demo purposes. And since we may be using stop loss and take profit orders, I just wanna know uh, let you know due to marking conditions, they're never guaranteed to get filled. 
But moving on, like I said, hypothetically, of course, I get go long on the E-mini S&P 500 and expect the market to go down. Well, I'll go ahead and place myself a limit order, a buy limit. Let's say I want to average into this long position. So all I need to do is pick my order type, in this case, limit, since I'll be buying below the market, and then basically just choose a entry price below the current market order um, or below the current market price. So currently you can see uh, on my chart, the market's about 41.73.75. So let's say I just want to get in at an even 41.70. Once I have this configured, I click add to basket and then I can move on to my next order. Maybe I want to put it five ticks below that or five points. I'll do 41.65 even add to basket. Now, once we have everything configured, you'd see on your right hand side, this is basically the parameters that you set up for yourself. So you can see the account number it belongs to the symbol you're trading, what side it's on. You can see. You could adjust right here, whether you want to buy or sell, which is pretty unique. You just click reverse and you see they automatically go to the sell side. Click reverse again and it's back to buy. I could adjust the quantity here um, at a quick glance. I could adjust the price, uh, the trigger, if I have any or want to. And if you do have any stop loss or take profits, you'll see what those are as well. And you could actually, on top of that, select and modify or move your orders here too. So if you only want a certain amount of these orders going through, just check the ones you want, you know, sent in and whatever are checked when you submit, those are the ones that'll go. If it's not checked, it won't go through. So that's nice as well. Once I click submit, and if we look at our chart, you'll see those three exact orders I just talked about go in. So of course we were at the market and we got filled immediately. And now we see in my working order sections, I have those two working orders that I just described, those two buy limits at 4170 even and 4165. And that's what this feature does. It allows you to place a multitude of orders, essentially as many as you want, all from the click of one button. So you set up yourself some parameters and then those orders go through. So like I mentioned, and if we go back up to the screen, you could essentially create yourself your own synthetic multi-layer bracket order if you want to, right? You could go ahead and get filled at the market, put a stop loss below that, put a take profit order above it. And if, if you're going in with a multiple quantity order, so anything above one, you could place bracket, you know, or, or stop loss and take profit orders at various price levels to essentially protect your position. So let's try that real quick and um, wrap this video up here. So, Again, let's say, for example, I'm doing the E-mini S&P 500. Let's uh, actually flatten out of these positions so we start from scratch here. So if I open up multiple order entry again and I'm on the ES, let's say, for example, I want to go in at the market price for my first order. Now, if I want to place a bracket, of course, we want to do the opposite. So we want to place a sell. Now, one thing I didn't mention here, and just to show you how you can edit this is maybe I want to do a quantity of six, right? So I could have a quantity, um, you know, a, a sell stop below the market, uh, a quantity of two. Let's get this filled out here. Add to basket, um, and then maybe another sell stop order below that, right? So 65.50. And then let's do the inverse, right? So right now we have a total quantity of two and two. So we're, you know, short four right there. So we need to get to six, right? So let's do the opposite side. Let's do a sell limit order above the market. So all we need to do is just find a price above the market add the basket, and now we have ourselves our own little synthetic bracket order. Now, again, this is just purely hypothetical, just throwing random ideas and numbers out there, but let's go ahead and click submit and see what it actually looks like. And you can see, I just made myself a bracket order all through the entry order entry window, the multiple order entry window that is. So typically when you're doing this, you want your quantity to line up to your original position. So as you can see, I have a position with the quantity of six. And then I have my stop loss and take profits all adding up to six. Now, of course, again, this isn't probably something you would actually do in your trading. I just want to show you how this could work. So 
hypothetically, you would probably, if you had a take profit order here, probably want this to be six. And then same thing with your stops. Uh, maybe not necessarily two or maybe not the full six, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. You just basically want the numbers to add up. So that way you're not left with an outstanding position and nothing to cover that. Again, these orders aren't technically ever guaranteed to get filled in the market. So we always recommend you be in front of your computer and attentive when trading futures, of course, and especially with stop loss and take profit orders. But it's just something to keep in mind. And that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Um, it's a very simple feature, but it can be used extremely, you know, it, it's very powerful in, in the right hands and in the hands of the right trader. So, again, this is uh, something new we've added to Optimus Flow. Feel free to utilize it if you like. Again, you find it in the top left-hand corner. Scroll down to the trading section and you'll find it under MOE, Multiple Order Entry. So this was our tutorial on the multiple order entry basket that we've recently added in Optimus Flow. We hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, of course, please visit us on our community forum. It's down in the description below. Uh, we'd love for you to participate. There's a bunch of active traders on there and our support team willing to help you out. If you do have any technical or trading questions, um, we'd be more than happy to give you a hand. So we hope you find our community helpful. We hope you participate and we hope you found this video helpful as well. Thanks.